This is Star Wars Legion like you've never seen it before. Welcome to the battle for Geonosis. Welcome to the Zorbazork Gaming Star Wars Legion narrative campaign. We begin with the first battle of Geonosis, the opening act in the long and brutal Clone Wars. Good thing those bugs can't aim. As the clone forces arrive planetside, led by Master Yoda, their objective is twofold. The main Republic spearhead must push back the Separatist army and destroy the CIS headquarters, wresting control of the critical Geonosian droid foundries. But to end this war before it begins, Count Dooku must be captured. If Dooku escapes. Rally more systems to his cause, he will. Latest intel puts Dooku deep behind enemy lines, potentially preparing for evac. With the surviving Jedi forces still being redeployed from the arena, the task falls to the men of the 501st Regiment to buy them some time. A strike force of commandos led by Captain Rex have assessed a weak point in the droid battle line close to Dooku's escape vector. We think he's somewhere along the eastern barrier. It's a fortress. They must approach on foot, relying on the element of surprise, blast through the CIS strongpoint and strike deep behind enemy lines before they are overwhelmed by the inevitable quick response force. This is the Republic's chance to shut down this conflict and maintain peace and order throughout the galaxy. The burden may fall to just a few good men, but the force is with them. Welcome to the battle for Geonosis. This game uses the Zorbazorp Legion narrative campaign system, which is a living document that will be updated as our story develops and can be found in the description below. The scenario is played on a 6x4 foot board with a rocky outcrop running down its centre. This outcrop is a defensive battle line for the Separatists featuring two fortified strongpoints, complete with barricades and supplies. These strongpoints are a campaign stratagem for the CIS player that confers any trooper unit the armour keyword whilst within the strongpoint's footprint. The entire Republic Strike Force deploys along the western board edge as per the deployment map. Their forces are led by Captain Rex, CT7567, who like all clones is fresh off Kamino, but has already been earmarked for greatness with advanced recon commando training and given the role of captain of what will become Torrent Company. His strike force is small and ramshackle, consisting of the clones he could gather swiftly from the main battlefront and redeploy on task. His most trusted soldiers are the two squads of clone commandos. These are phase one clone trooper units with the elite formation campaign stratagem, which allows them to be equipped with an additional heavy weapon upgrade card and changes their rank from core to support. Alpha Squad, Rex's personal retinue, are equipped with a clone captain, DP-23, and a DC-15. Bravo, leading the Republic's left flank, have a clone specialist, RP-6 launcher, and another DC-15. The other three units of the Strike Force are core Phase 1 units with two Z6s and a DC-15. The Separatist Force is led by an Oom series battle droid who leads a B1 battle droid squad with the Command Formation Campaign Stratagem. This stratagem changes the unit's rank from Core to Commander, their Courage value to 3, and grants them an additional Heavy Weapon Upgrade card. This unit is equipped with an E5S and a Radiation Cannon and is deployed within one of the fortified strongpoints. The CIS also have two squads of B1 battle droids with the Elite Formation Campaign Stratagem, changing their rank from Core to Support and granting an additional Heavy Weapon Upgrade card. These squads are both equipped with E60R and E5C Upgrade cards and deployed in the second Fortified Strongpoint and along the Rocky Outcrop. The Confederacy also have two B1 battle droid core units with no additional upgrades, patrolling the Geonosian planes who can be deployed anywhere within Range 1 of the Rocky Outcrop. Bringing in the heavy support are two squads of droidicas with long-range comlinks who have the delayed arrival campaign stratagem. The game will last for 10 turns or until one side has been wiped out. To achieve major victory, the Republic must get Captain Rex and at least one squad of commandos off the eastern board edge. If only one of these units reaches the objective, then it will be a minor victory, unless Rex has been slain, in which case the outcome will be a draw. Any other result is a victory for the Separatists. 
There are also several key campaign stratagems in use for this scenario. The Republic have access to an ATTE fire support barrage. Once per game, Captain Rex can designate any enemy units in range and mark them for heavy bombardment, at which point Lockie will start throwing dice all over the place. Captain Rex also has the down but not out campaign stratagem. This stratagem enables Rex to remain injured on the board the first time he is killed and can be picked up by a friendly trooper unit who can carry him to the objective. The Separatist forces have dug in to form a defensive line along Geonosis in order to funnel the main Republic army towards the Separatist spearhead. This defensive formation is comprised of fortified strong points that benefit from the super heavy cover campaign stratagem. This bonus confers the armor unit keyword to any trooper squads within the footprint of that strong point. Representing the Quick Response Force deployed by the CIS after the Strike Force attacks, the Droidica units have the Delayed Arrival Stratagem. These units are deployed anywhere along the long board edges, range 2 from the corners, at the end of the turn in which any Republic unit enters the fields to the east of the outcrop. Advance the attack. Deep in CIS territories, the enemies the Republic face are innumerable, and as such, the Confederacy has the Unending Reserves campaign stratagem, which deploys reinforcements to their main B1 battle line. This stratagem will activate every turn until the Republic call down their ATTE fire support, in which Unending Reserves will activate twice. These models will move on to the eastern board edge. Well, we've seen the forces, we've seen the scenario, let's meet the players. Controlling the forces of the Republic, the Chancellor of Zorbazorp himself, Lachlan Linton Keane. I love democracy. So Jacko has so many reinforcements throughout this match, but I've got a lot of heavy weapons and specials. It's time for the Republic to ditch the pain. Marshalling the might of the Confederacy is our very own clanker, Jackson Renahan. They're no match for Droidekas. I'm going to be hunkering down in my super heavy cover and trying to make sure that Lockie can't get through for as long as possible until my Droidica reinforcements can arrive. The board is set, the pieces are moving, begun the Clone War has. So Rex's strike team is ready to smash through this droid emplacement, but first, before the game begins, oh, we've just finished deployment, it's time for Rex's scout move. So he can make a move one, uh, and he's gonna jump in over here. He's also got scouting party, uh, which means that uh, two friendly trooper units within range two, so I've got, it's gonna have to be these two, will now also get to make a move one. Uh, my leader of this squad, we're just gonna shimmy on over here, get a little bit of a better position and everyone else can just form up. And then this squad here, where is my leader? Up the back, what is he doing up there? And these guys are gonna come sprinting down, ready to lay their weapons and level some fire at the droids. Now, uh, Rex also has tactical, so that means tactical one, that means he gains an aim token, even though that move was during deployment. And now it's time to reveal our command cards and get into turn number one. Move in, secure the zone. Go, go, go. Scout for Separatists! After Rex's scout move, I'm striking up towards the battlefield. Let's reveal our command cards for turn number one, Jacko. I'm playing Assault. And I'm playing Standing Orders. So I am taking the initiative. I'll be directing one unit. I, of course, have uh, decided to go on theme here and leaping forward with Captain Rex taking the charge. That's my unit. Now you've got how many units? I have one order to issue. That order is going to be issued by my commander over here to this droid trooper unit. And then because of their AI coordinate, they're going to issue an order to this droid tribunal as well. Order engaged. Roger that. Assault positions! First move of the game is going to be Rexy Boy, of course, because he is way out in the open at the moment. We need to get him in cover. He's going to do a move to there and stop partially along after Lockie knocks the terrain. And then, uh, of course, I gain another aim token because of tactical. And I'm now going to take my second action as unloading into this droid squad in front of me with his beautiful little pistol. And firing away two surge tokens, which I'm going to... Oh, they turn automatically, automatically turn to crits. There we go. Didn't need a single one of my aim tokens. Maintain fire! So the three critical hits that Lockie scored means that my cover is useless. I'm just gonna take three saves. Save one. Okay. Down go two droids. Rex is dishing out the pain early on. We'll move into Jacko's first activation. I wanna shoot at Lockie's unit before they can shoot at me, which means I either wanna activate a core unit or my commander unit. So 
For that, I'm gonna take one from the order pool and it's my commander. All right, so they're issued an order. They're gonna take an aim action and then they're gonna take uh, an attack action against this squad here. Target acquired, eradicate the clone. All right, my guys are at range three, which means my radiation trooper won't be able to fire his gun, which is range two. That leaves seven B1s and my droid sniper. So we'll take it away with the B1s first. I got one more. Okay, got something. I have an aim token, so first I will roll the sniper. Okay, and then I'll re-roll two white dice. Okay, that's good. So we got two crits and two hits. And thanks to my sniper's critical one rule, I'll turn one surge into a crit. Fire at will! So with the weight of the sniper joining the attack pool, I've now got five hits on this squad who haven't even fired yet. They're a valuable squad too. One of my support units, I've got five saves to make. And look at that! One trooper goes down. A pretty great result for the Republic. Gotta love those red defense die. <laughs> So I'm already losing a little bit of control of my forces here. I've obviously activated Rex and now I'm pretty much at the mercy of the command pool to let me know what units I'm going to be controlling. Whereas Jacko has set it up quite nicely. If he draws any core troops, he can grab those. Otherwise, he can activate any of his other units there. So let's see what I've got next. Hopefully, I can stop my poor injured units from getting shot. Ah, uh, you beauty. It is a support. So I'm going to activate one of my special commando Rex units, uh, which is going to be this one here. And these guys are going to move and then open fire into this weak squad. Uh, there's no point in splitting off fire uh, onto the big emplacement there because the cover, the super heavy cover, uh, is going to mitigate any small arm shots. So before I activate, let's rally and we're not getting rid of the suppression token yet and let's jump in and make a nice move to open up a really lovely angle to mitigate that cover. So there we go, no cover on that unit now. We'll reform and we are going to unload into these guys. Uh, I'm not going to split my pool, so I've got one, two, three, four uh, DC 15 A's. Oh, three hits, very nice indeed. Uh, and then I've got my DC 15, the big boy. And he gets me another two hits. And then the lovely shotgun, the DP 23. And just the one hit from there. So that is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six saves for Jacko to take. I'm not particularly confident. One save. The droids are wiped out. Not made for durability. All right, since there's only core tokens left in my order pool, uh, I'm going to use a core token to activate my last core unit. Uh, and they are going to take an aim action and then immediately shoot at Lockie's troopers over there. These are my second squad of specialist commandos. Open fire with that little squad. One hit. Strong. Uh, you've got your <laughs> aim, though. Oh, yes, the aim is going to help. Not really, not really. So one one dice because I'm way out in the open. What have I done with my reds? And oh, a trooper falls. Nice Beautiful shot. work from the droids. Target acquired. So I've got a couple of options here depending on what comes up from my pool. Let's have a look at what it is. It is a core. Uh, so I need to activate a choice here that means that Jacko doesn't have a lot to shoot at when he's forced to activate his unit. So I'm going to activate this core unit right over the side here. And because Jacko's command squad back here in the emplacement has already activated, I'm just going to double move because I don't have to worry about getting shot by them. And we are going to start making some gains and try and get up inside these, uh, this escarpment. Keep up the assault! Go, go, go! You have been designated for termination. Okay, so my only valid target for the rocket launcher is this squad over here, the specialist squad. And let's take a shot. Two hits, very nice. Well, I'm way out in the open there with no cover. So it's just two big red defense dies for the clones. Oh, look at that. What's your rocket launcher? Now, does your rocket launcher have any keywords, Jacko? Pierce or anything? It's impact two, which only affects armor and it requires it to be exhausted. So my second action is going to be recovery. All right, so reloading for the rest of the turn and that is the droid unit completed. Roger, boom. 
Once again, I'm at the mercy of the pool. Let's see what we've got. It is another core unit, and I've got two choices. Uh, to make sure that Jacko doesn't have targets for this central unit he's got over here, I'm gonna activate these guys over on the side. Now I'm gonna do a move first, and then I'm going to unload into these droids here. We'll form up a lovely little line here, which sets up some nice cover from these units as well up in the uh, emplacements. So well within range with all weapons, I've got a pretty juicy attack pull to hit these droids, and we are looking at not a lot of results. <laughs> Just the four hits, Jacko's got no cover because of my positioning, so that is going to be four saves for him. Firing away, Jacko. Oh, the white defense die abandoned you. Four droids gone. Set him up and knock him down. Their leader is on the battlefield. Target acquired. Once again, I only have one weapon to shoot with in my squad, that being the rocket launcher. We're going to fire at the only valid target, which is Rex. He's hunkered behind cover, so he's going to benefit. And that's one crit. So one gets removed by my cover, but I can't stop the crit, so I've got one big red defense die. Ooh. Oh, Rexy takes a wound. Ah, need a medic. That and a hurt. So Jacko's token is irrelevant because his unit's been destroyed and I've got my two guys left. So I'm just going to quickly throw these guys through. Uh, my troopers are just going to make a huge double move to try and get up in the fight, uh, but still put themselves uh, in reasonable cover from the central squad. Rallying for the final squad of support, nothing there. My leader's gonna make a big beeline. After Rex's scout move, the Republic forces surged forward, seizing the initiative and laying down a barrage of fire. The two droid patrols fared poorly, with one reduced to two models and the second obliterated by the combined arsenal of Rex's commandos. The CIS forces dug in on the emplacements, leveraging some long-range fire to eliminate a few soldiers of the Republic, but there is a lot of shiny white armor sprinting towards them. They'll be relying heavily on the armor of their defensive positions to help them weather the assault. As reports come in of this Republic incursion, the first squad of droid reinforcements has arrived, but it will be some time before they can lend their weight to the battle. Advance the attack! So the clones have moved up to take some forward positions, a little bit of cover and lay down a little bit of fire on the droids, but the emplacements are holding very strong. Uh, we've got a pretty interesting turn coming up. I don't think I'm going to be in range two to drop my marker lights to call my ATTE heavy support ordnance down on the emplacements. So it should be an interesting scrap this turn. Let's reveal our command cards, Jacko, for turn number two. Take that clinkers and... Pin down. Pin down. Interesting choice, Jacko. What is your vibe here? What sort of tactics are you thinking? Well, I think I was right because you revealed a card that's going to increase your range. I'm expecting that you're going to try and do some kind of fire support play, combine your arms to take out uh, my guys, get through that super heavy cover. Uh, so pin down is going to let me sort of get in the way of that by, if I get priority, shooting at one of your guys first and removing their token, their order token. Yeah, certainly will disrupt any fire support plans, of course, any unit you hit with the targeted unit uh, does strip up that order token, uh, which means my fire support's gonna be a hell of a lot less effective. Let's see who's got the initiative to see whose play goes off. Bit of a gamble with two pips on either side. Straight down on the board is fine. And blank, it goes to the clones, because you had initiative. Uh, let's go and set up those orders, and we'll be right back. For the Republic! For the Chancellor! Order engaged. Roger, roger. So Jackson and I have both activated two squads and I'm going to have to try and do some fire support shenanigans to get through the armor of the super heavy cover of these emplacements. My two activated squads are my troopers here and one of my special support units, the commandos. Uh, I'm still at the mercy of the pile though, so let's see what comes up. I've got my second support unit, which only gives me the one choice, my other unit of commandos over here right next to Rex. So I'm going to try... I'm going to try and take out the command squad up here, or at least do a little bit of damage. Uh, obviously, it has got armor, so I'm going to fire support with this unit over here, uh, which has got the rocket launcher. Now, because of my uh, Take That Clankers command card, my range has been increased, so almost all of my DC-15s are in range, except the guy up the back. Uh, my DC-15A will be in range as well, uh, and then I'm just dropping uh, one extra guy from this squad over here, because he won't have line of sight. So, let's start 
forming our attack pool. Uh, remembering I've got three DC-15s here. I've got a DC-15A and my DP-23. So hopefully that cancel from uh, the PS1 will be helpful. Let's see how we go. Uh, I've got one, two, three hits. Uh, and I can convert one of these surges to critical. Uh, that's going to be helpful with getting past the armor. So that's critical one from the DC-15. So we'll take those out. Uh, and then I've got uh, my second squad. I've got uh, a rocket launcher coming in. I've got another DC-15A and one, two, three DC-15s. Let's see if we can do a bit of damage here. That's a lot of blanks and a lot of hits that aren't going to amount to very much. Uh, I've got Impact 2, so while attacking this unit has armor, I can change two of these to criticals. So we'll do that now. That, that's going to help. That gets us another couple. Uh, and I don't think any of these other... Oh, no, I've got... I do. I have one, uh, one DC-15A, so I can change that surge to a crit as well. So, I've got four critical hits. Three hits, which are cancelled by the armor, uh, so that is four saves uh, that Jacko is going to have to take. Take out that sniper! Rocket! Alright, so Lockie has Pierce in his attack pool, Pierce 1, which means one of my successful rolls, if any, will be cancelled. Let's do it. <laughs> Got the cancel, but boom, annihilated by Pierce. Four droids go down. So you don't want to cancel the surge? <laughs> oh, I hit a surge in the failure. So after a successful little fire battery, it's time to get these up there because we need to get across this board nice and quickly. So just a little move to complete their actions for the turn. Eradicate the clone. Even though I've got the super heavy cover, I'm a little bit worried about the amount of firepower that Lucky can level at me. Um, so, I gotta do some damage before he does some damage to me. That means I'm gonna be activating this squad, my support squad, and they are gonna fire on this set of clones who have yet to activate, which will allow me to put their order token away with my pin down attack card. Uh, that's the only opportunity I have to use that now, so might as well use it. Uh, I've got all these dice plus one more white one for my um, E5 something blaster and the, the, three, five. the three black dice blaster <laughs> and the uh, rocket launcher plus the E5s. Smash it. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. and I'm, I'm aiming before. Of, of course you did aim, but also I'm not in cover. That's pretty savage. So I'm going to reroll uh, a black and the red. Two more. Oh, oh, very yes. nice indeed. Fire it well. Get down. There's too many of them. So nine saves to make here. Rerolling three of these. Ooh, saving four. That's a good start. And three more to go. Fail. So Ooh. five hits in total get through. That is five dead clones. There are only six in the squad. Uh, and that means I have to keep my leader alive. So I lose the DC 15. Nice. So pinned down, annihilated my last order token on the field. So at the mercy of the pool, I've picked up a core. I've got two choices, uh, core over here on the left flank or on the right. I'm going to go for the left because they can probably do a bit of damage uh, and, are, and are pretty safe at the moment. So activating these guys, I'm going to go for a move order first of all because uh, I just got to keep on getting up to take these, uh, take these positions. We'll drop in. Uh, and I'm going to absolutely wreck the last two droids of this little squad here because that squad over here has fired so they're no threat to me. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six white dice from the Z6 and one outside the box. That is three hits and then the one, two, three, four, five DC 15 A's. That is a total of five hits for Jacko to make. Uh, to see if his two poor droids survive. I think we got him. We've got a droid! Good shot! Oh. That's the way it's done. Roger, Roger. Hold your ground. Come with me. Take up secondary position. 
Target acquired. All right, thanks to my Oom Battle Droid being immune to the AI, I have made a move to get into a better position to use my radiation cannon. And I'm gonna fire it at these uh, normal clone troopers who aren't in cover. Uh, so I'm just gonna shoot with everything I got. All right, that's three crits, two hits, and no surges to convert into crits. Um, but if you fail any wounds, you will take a poison turn. Yeah, cool. Geez, that is pretty spicy. So I've got one, two, three, four, five to save. Five red dice right here. I'm a clone. I know what I'm doing. Oh, two surges, a cock die. All right, so I've saved two. That means I'm taking three wounds and a poison token. That is a savage outcome for the clone troopers. Attack the clone. <laughs> Move in! Secure the zone! Hostiles in the area! Enemy contact! Target that droid! So Rexy has sprinted up and it's time for some gunslinging action. I'm picking off against two units. Jacko's command squad, simply because I can make the second attack, I'm probably not going to get through the armor. Uh, and then of course we've got the squad up the back there who doesn't have armor but is in heavy cover. So let's fire away at the command squad first. Three are shots, of course because of tactical one, I do have aim but I'll probably save that. Uh, I, I've got three hits but I'm not going to bother re-rolling those and none of those will get through the armor. So now for the second attack on our squad up the back here with no armor but in heavy cover. And uh, we've got a hit, a surge and a blank. I'm going to re-roll the hit and the blank because a surge will be converted to a crit. Uh, and we're looking for more crits! And another Surge jumps into a second crit, so that is two saves for Jacko to make on that back squad. Two white dice, Jacko! And two blanks, that's two droids down. Alt, uh, hold your ground! Damaged. Targeting droid! Ah! Uh, oh. I'm hit! Alright, so I'm gonna activate this squad. First thing they have to do is rally. Let's roll a white die. Nope, so they keep that suppression token. Fortunately, they're within one to three of my OM leader, which grants them courage too. Then I'm gonna split my fire between two targets, Rex and this squad. So to start with, I've only got line of sight with a few key models. This single B1 with an E5, and this single E1 with the E5B, EB5. EB5, thank you. <laughs> uh, so they are going to shoot at Rex, and then the rocket launcher is going to go from over there all the way over here. Alright, let's form up that attack pool, starting off at Rex. So you've got the EB5 and a single E5 blaster. Take it away, Jacko. Ooh, ooh, savage. So I am in heavy cover, so the hit gets cancelled, but the two crits do make it through, uh, and I need two red dice to take some saves. We didn't plan for that. We did not plan for that. You just assumed that you weren't going to get wounded. <laughs> and two saves for Rexy. Oh, look at that. All right, he's good. No damage to the captain. Take that, Clankers, indeed, this turn. So it's just the rocket launcher over into our pesky little clones. All right, let's do it. Oh, strong! Now you do have cover, so I do. that's gonna take that. So, away. just one save, hook me up with that red. There you go. Ooh, down goes a clone. Uh, this guy. With no special units left on the battlefield, I know this is a core, and I'm gonna use it to activate my core over here on the right flank. Now these guys have a poison token, so they're about to take a wound. I'm gonna get one last hurrah before I lose that man. Just do a simple move, and then fire straight up into Jacko's command squad. So, a Z6 with six white dice, and then the two uh, DC-15As, looking for critical hits to get past the armor. We need luck here for that. Oh, we've got one, we've got one. So they punch us through the armor, the other hit is cancelled, and Jacko has a single white die. Uh, you want to grab that one, Jacko, and fire it through. Whoop, try again. Look at that, no save, and a droid goes down. So at the end of that unit's activation, the poison token activates and I lose a model. That suppression token would, of course, had to be rallied for, but that's going to disappear at the end of the turn anyway. 
Seizing the initiative and the roll-off, the Republic pressed their advantage with Rex's two commando squads pulling off a savage combined fireplay, punching through the armor of the emplacement and killing several members of the Oom command squad. Unshaken by the onslaught of the meatbags, the Oom commander fell back and repositioned to target the Republic flank, killing four models from an advancing core unit. The Republic still have a lot of ground between them and their objective. Being able to quickly leverage their ATT fire support will be vital to taking the emplacements and keeping their strike force intact. We have a reinforced garrison of troops on the battlefield. It's turn three and Lockheed's troops are in position to call down the airstrike. I'm a bit worried because that means my guys are gonna get blasted off the face of Geonosis. So I need to take advantage of them while they're still here. With that said, are you ready to show your command card line? I sure am, Jacko. Let's do it. Okay. Command cards for turn number three. I'm going for Pip 2. Push. Pip 1. Pip 1. So as Jacko has rightly sort of displayed, he has gone for the initiative so he can get a bit of punch from his droids. I sort of saw that coming, so uh, I've gone for the Push 2 rather than wasting my uh, remaining Rex custom Pip 1 card, which is hopefully going to be a bit better later on. So Jacko's going to get a shot uh, and it won't go down to a roll-off. Well, what are you going to do, Jacko? You've got the lower initiative. Throw down your first command card, my friend, or your first order token. Yes, so I need to issue an order with my commander, who is over here. Um, now, he is more than range three away from this unit, which is the unit I want to activate. But, thanks to my droid's coordinate ability, I can issue an order to this unit, which is within range three, and then they will get to pass an order onto a unit within range one. So, I'm going to do that. Order issued to this squad, then coordinate allows them to issue an order to this squad. The remaining three order tokens will go into my order pool, leaving my command unit and the two chaff core units bringing up the rear for a random chance. All right, well, I've got to put down two tokens uh, because of my two units from push. Uh, I am going to... I've got to select Captain Rex because I need to have control of when that ordinance is going to be coming down. So that will be one for me. And I think I'm actually just going to throw down one of my support units over here just in case they get a little bit wrecked. They're the ones only really at any danger of kind of being exposed from this droid fire. So we're going to take it away with the first activation of turn number three. My first action is to activate this big squad of droids right here and take a whole lot of shots at Rex because he's a pretty key model in your army and this is probably the best chance I'm going to get to put a lot of hits on him since he's out in the open. So let's do it. My rocket launcher, my EB-5 and then a bunch of E-5s. Unload. Ooh, not uh, too good. Could be better. One more. Oh, okay. okay, so two crits and a hit. Yeah. Uh, now I'm out in the open, but so no cover, so the crits don't mean anything. It's just three defense die, obviously on reds, because Rexy's got the armor of the Republic. Ooh, he takes a sneaky wound, though. I probably got off pretty lightly there, I think. I think so. Just the one wound, but uh, yeah, probably shouldn't have left him right out there, but he does need to be up close to be able to launch that beautiful uh, response, shall we say, which is coming in the next turn. Sure. Med support! That in the head! So the first activation of turn three for the Republic, and it's going to be a big one. We are calling in the fire support. So I'm going to activate Rex. Now he needs to be in range one of a unit who is in range two of wherever I want to drop my fire support. So this plucky clone trooper here is in range two of one units, two units, three units, and Rex is in range one of him. So. Each one of these units is going to be hit by the ATT big blast, and in they come, and it is a massive hit. So, Jacko, we're going to go one unit at a time. Let's start with your command squad. The attack is six white, six black, six red. It ignores all armor, so the uh, effect of the super heavy cover will be obliterated, but you will still get your cover bonuses from being uh, obscured and, of course, suppressed. So, how generous. Yes, yeah, very generous indeed. 18 dice into Jacko's command squad. Let's see what we get. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Uh, two of those are going to be cancelled by cover, of course, so I'll pull those away, and that leaves you with six saves to be taking on your white dice, Jacko. And that is two saved, but four wounds on the squad. How many are remaining? Have a little pan over there. Four. Ah, excellent. Well, right. that's, that's those dealt with. Yeah. 
good. It's fantastic. All right, the next one. Uh, we are doing another salvo straight into your center squad, which has seven members remaining, and they will also be in heavy cover. I'm seeing blanks. Let's get rid of those. Oh my god, that's... Are you sure you're saying blanks? That's, that's pretty significant. Uh, so two of those will be obliterated by cover, and that is two, four, six, eight saves for you to take. I'll pass you those six white dice, good sir. Thank you. And two more rolls. Yep. How am I doing so far? I can't see. Uh, you have saved two, which oh. means you take six damage, so there will be a survivor from that squad. Oh, yeah. And the final salvo into Jacko's big untouched squad over here. This squad is looking absolutely beautiful. It's not going to be looking that good for much longer. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits this time. So striking on average six, seven, and eight, two will get cancelled. So you'll go down to five saves. Ooh. Ooh, still going to have a few there. If you can get a few saves up here, Jacko, your big squad is still going to be very much in play. No saves at all. Five oh. units down. Enemies around the target zone. Heavy bombardment. Stay out of the blast range. I don't get that line. Turret locking on. So after the annihilation of the ATTE fire support, Rex of course still has his full actions because that's a free. So he's going to jump in and perform a move. Of course with Tactical 1, that is going to grab him uh, an aim token as well. Uh, and now I'm not going to be able to unload with Arsenal on two targets because I'm just out of range uh, of these guys over here. As we can see, I need to be at range 2. But I am in range of this last poor droid here who is yet to activate, the sole survivor of his squad. So I'm going to fire once at him. I've got three attacks. Sharpshooter 1 is irrelevant because he's not in cover. I have got three hits, I don't even need my aim. So that is three saves for Jacko to take on three white die. And the droid is finished. He's firing! Ah. Ah. Target destroyed! I don't have any units with orders issued to them at the moment, so I need to go off my pool. That is going to be a core unit. I have two core units remaining. I'm going to activate this unit and they are going to double move from here to here. Proceed on foot. Second action for the Republic in turn three will be activating my support units. Uh, this is the other Rex Commandos unit and they're just going to be making a double move to get themselves nice and close uh, to get ready for action in the future. We of course do not have to worry about this unit here because it has already activated. Jacko's next order is issued to his first core unit to double move towards what's left of their comrades, digging in behind the base of the outcrop to stay in heavy cover. Advance the attack! With the Oom Command Squad now obliterated on the Republic's right flank, Lockie issues a double move to his damaged core unit, hoping to bring the Z6 to bear next turn and halt the advancing droid reinforcements. Pushing up behind them, Rex's commando unit with the DP-23 follows suit, establishing a strong Republic presence on the former Separatist strongpoint. The Republic is in control of a command post. With the second commando squad at risk of being hit by the surviving droids next turn, Lockie's last core unit moves up and unloads a volley of covering fire. We've got droids! Humanoid. Oh. Ah. 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 Car unstable, shutting down. 
The fierce bombardment and accurate blasting of Rex and the intact core unit have netted the Republic their first objective. Every single droid on the outcrop has been scrapped and the fortified strongpoint lies in ruins. The attack will not have gone unnoticed by Separatist command, however, already troops are redirecting from other fronts to counter the Republic incursion. Now all that remains is a race against time. The strike force must make it deep behind enemy lines with enough strength to fight to have any chance of cutting off Count Dooku's escape. Our forces have deployed a reinforced garrison of troops. Spread out. Roger that. Take up secondary position. So turn number four, an important turn for the clones, it's time to absolutely sprint and get some board control, but I don't really need a lot of initiative, so I'm going to be playing standing orders, Jacko, show me the money. I'm also playing standing orders. <laughs> the battle of the standing orders. So it'll be a pip roll off to see who goes first. Uh, I need a Red dice that I don't have. So we're going to do a roll off on the white pips, it will go to me on the blanks, it will go to Jacko to see who gets the initiative. It is a blank, so Jacko, it is all yours. What are you activating? I would like to issue an order to my commander. Woo! Commander, okay, which is this squad right here in front of me. If I can do that, it's going to be Battle of the Commanders because I'm going to be running my commander as well, Captain Rex, so that I can get him first away from the droids on uh, Jacko's side and get him into cover nice and quickly. So, the Battle of the Commanders for turn number four. Alright, so for my activation, I have full control over my units because I only have core left and I've issued a command to my commander. Which means if I take one off here, it's going to be core and I'm going to assign it to this unit because I want to try and at least knock that Z6 out before it gets a chance to fire on me. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that unit's going to get wiped out this turn, so the sooner I activate it, the better. And there's only two units left in that squad of Lockie, so if I can score a wound, he will have to take the Z6 out because it's just the Z6 and the leader left. With that said, I have as many shots as the Z6 has. Six white dice. Let's do it. Ooh. Oh, oh my <laughs> lord! Okay. What? Okay, so three crits. Uh, and what the <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, okay, so these two will get cancelled by my heavy cover. Yes. Um, holy dooly. Uh, can I have three red defense die, Jacko? I don't have three red because yes, I do not go. anticipate that. There Beautiful, go. there we go. Uh, so, three critical hits getting through. If I take a single wound and fail one of these saves, the Z6 dies. If I fail two, the trooper captain is down. Ooh, one blank and two saves. Z6 gone. A successful activation for the Separatists. Eliminate that clone! Take cover! Ah! So that was their first action. It had to be an attack thanks to their AI rule. I have one action left that is going to be to dodge. So now the threat to Captain Rex has activated. I don't actually have to move him now. So what I'm going to do is just go to the mercy of the order pool. We'll see what we get. It is a core unit. I've got three available. Obviously the two riddled squads with just their leaders, but I'm going to activate these guys up the back because the other guys are a little bit too exposed. So these guys are just going to double move straight to the front line and see if we can get some good positioning to form up on the Separatists in future turns. My next activation is going to be my command squad. Because of my good luck with the uh, B1's last turn, I think I'm going to try again for a few good hits. This time on a full strength squad of clones. Now, I have an auto token, so I'm going to take the aim action before firing. Let's do it. Six white dice, show me the money, Jacko. Mm, less money. Yes. Uh, I get to reroll two, thanks to the aim token. One Ooh, importantly, because I am in heavy cover over there, so that will force me to take a single save, a blank, and a clone goes down. Nope. Saved. Was your AA reticle recently calibrated? Seeing the advancing droids suppressing their fellow brothers, the clone commandos execute a move order to leap to the top of the outcrop and rain down a salvo of fire upon the advancing clankers, exhausting the clone specialist's ability to gain an aim token. Battle droid, knock him down! The guidance of the veteran trooper steadies the clone attack, yielding four hits on the exposed droid unit. With no cover and only one save passed, that's three clankers scrapped. Oh. Ah. 
system failure. Casualties are mounting. Set him up and knock him down. With his new command squad taking heavy fire, Jacko orders Ordering the core eight. unit bringing up the rear to double move and fall squad. in behind their leaders, bolstering the droid lines. Roger that. After seeing their Z6-wielding brother riddled we with laser the fire, the second clone commando squad advance and fire, around. looking for Come any on. critical hits that will bypass the droid's heavy cover. Take out that battle droid! Roger that. Taking seven hits, Jacko uses his dodge token and the heavy cover bonus to reduce his required saves to four. But without defensive surges, the white die abandon him and four droids are reduced to molten no. slag. Our numbers are falling! Great shooting, trooper! Fresh to the conflict, the latest squad of droid reinforcements launch forwards on the double to try and halt the clone advance. Take up secondary position. So we still dished a little bit of pain whilst advancing on our two flanks. I've pushed up my two solo clone commanders after their squads have been obliterated. And the final move is Rex, who is just going to double move to get himself up topside, ready to dish the pain at the start of turn number five. Well, a strong turn for the Republic, losing only a single trooper and rinsing seven droids in return. The clones now have complete control of the rocky outcrop and have but one stretch of open ground to traverse to achieve their victory. The beleaguered Separatist forces are up against it, but if they can stall the clone advance, help might just be on the way. All right, so it's turn five and things are looking a little dire. I need to hold out just a little bit longer until my droidicas arrive. I've got a few units left on the board, so I want to take advantage of them while they're still here. Ready to reveal cards, Lucky? I'll go first. I'm going to be running Assault, the three pip that will give me control of three units. Take us away, Jacko. I'm playing my one pip custom card, Surge, which gives a Surge token to all of my units on the board. Just like last turn, I'm going to issue an order to my commander, which then allows me through the coordinate ability to issue an order to my core troop within range one. I actually only have three units in range of Rex. My two core units with a single member and then my clone commandos on the right flank. All right, since I have the initiative, I want to take a few shots at this special weapon squad of Rexes here. And to do that, I'm going to be activating my core unit. They're just going to take six shots. And uh, but before that, they're going to aim because they don't have to be bound by their AI ability since they have an auto token. Here's the aim, and fire. Oh, not bad. So two surges, a crit and a hit, re-rolling the two blanks with aim, and oh, another crit. Now you've got your surge token as well, Jacko. That's gonna make that a hit. You don't have cover, so that's four saves for you to make. Four saves, how many have I got in that unit, Jacko? Five. Five units, so any failed saves here, and I'm losing troopers, and as you can see, I've got a couple of specials, and my specialist as well. And that is two saves and two blanks, which will mean I don't lose any special weapons, but chipping away at the all-important special weapon squads, Jacko. Yep. Target acquired. Eradicate the clone. Get down. We're taking heavy fire. There's too many of them. Wow, Roger that. So I did end up losing the RP-6 launcher in the end, and this squad, if it takes any more hits, I'm gonna lose some really valuable units. So I've gotta do something about it. I'm gonna take a gamble and draw straight off the pool, hopefully for these guys, or maybe even these guys on the back. And I've got core, so that means I have to activate these troopers up the back. First thing I'm gonna do is a move, which is gonna launch me up the top of the hill. Then I'll reposition these troops which is gonna put me in a perfect firing position to not only create some extra cover for those units, but also lay down into Jacko's unactivated command units. So I've got four uh, DC-15As and the Z6. That's four black and six white. Let's see what I can do to these three droids out of cover. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six hits. Jacko has six white defense die to make. I think that's a dead squad. Car unstable, shutting down. 
Order engaged. With the droid command squad destroyed once again, the two strong droid core unit try to cut the head off the snake and open fire on Captain Rex, but not even their surge token can score them a critical hit and they fail to get through Rex's heavy cover. I'm all right. Assault. Continuing the clone tactic of moving and shooting, Come the weakened on. commandos make a risky play and surge forward onto the planes, whittling away two droids from the squad in front of We've them. Got droids. Good shot. That does not compute. You got him. Roger that. With his last remaining full strength call unit, Jacko opts to try and reduce Lockie's order count by focus firing on the single man clone core unit. The droids only manage a feeble two hits, but without any cover, one failed save sees that squad finally wiped out. Ah! Hostiles eliminated. So after Jacko had used up all of his activations, my final couple of clone squads, one of Rex's special trooper commando lads, as well as my single core trooper squad, have pushed up the right flank with two double moves. And now my final activation of the turn is of course Rex himself. So he is going to make a move, which of course with tactical one will give him an aim token. And then he's gonna open fire using arsenal, hitting both of these units. So we'll open fire at the two squad of droids. They're in cover, which will only go down to light cover because of Rex's sharpshooter. He takes three shots into them and he gets two hits. One of those will be cancelled by light cover. Do I waste the reroll here on two? Ooh, choices. I think I'm going to let that slide. So Jacko has one save to take with a single white die uh, and then hopefully... Awesome, one droid will go down, so we'll pluck that gentleman out of there. The final three shots are gonna launch straight into the big old squad of droids up the back here. Three shots from Rexy, he's got a surge and two hits. That surge becomes a crit, and then I'll use the aim to re-roll into the box and get a third hit. That is three defensive shots, because these guys are not in cover, and Jacko saves one and gets two of them outside the box and surges, which he can spend his surge token to do. Right. Bang, bang, saves two of them. Rex only killed two droids. Fairly rubbish from the incredible clone captain. Hostile down! Target scrapped. Another tough turn for the Confederacy, once again only killing a single clone and losing seven more droids. But all of that is about to change. By focusing on firing as they advance, the Republic still have a lot of ground to cover. And although the B1 units are very worse for wear, the cavalry are about to arrive, galloping, or should I say rolling into battle on either of the Republic's flanks. With little cover between them and their objective and caught in a deadly crossfire, Rex and his forces are on the back foot. We have a reinforced garrison of troops on the battlefield. We've got droidicas. Destroy your droid! Watch yourself! Okay, the droidicas have arrived, and it's time for me to kill some clones. I think that Lockie is going to play a one pip card. He's only got one one pip card left because Rex is right in the line of fire of my two droidicas, and he's going to want to get out of there as soon as possible. So, given that rationale, I think. I know what you're going to do, Lockie. <laughs> we will see. So, I've chosen an appropriate counter murder. Alright, rip it up. What are you going? I'm going Assault. Assault! So, three pips, giving you a bit of unit control as well. Yeah. Well, I kind of anticipated that, and I'm actually going for a little bit of a bluff. I'm running We're Not Program, which is my three pip card. So we're going to go down to a roll off. My justification is my one pip card sets up a really great coordinated fire move, which I wouldn't be able to take advantage of uh, because I'd have to activate Rex to get him out of there. So risky, but it's all down to a roll off, Jacko. You've got the dice, set the tone. Republic or droids? Blank, it is going to the Republic. Right. So uh, I have the opportunity now to get Rex out of there. Order engaged. Advance the attack. Roger, roger. Roger that. 
So with all four of my clone trooper units having auto tokens, I'm at the mercy of the command pool, but of course there's only one left, so that is Captain Rex. I'm gonna activate old Rexy boy, and first up, he's gonna make a move, which puts himself safely in cover away from the droidicas. He grabs himself an aim token because of tactical one, and now he's ready to unload into these two droid units. So, I'm gonna be shooting into both of them because of Gunslinger, not Arsenal, uh, and I'm gonna drop three shots into that first B1 unit there, who only has the leader remaining, and he gets three hits, Jacko. Three big saves on three white dice. See what you can do there. Uh, not much. There he goes. Alright, and into the second unit, still with my aim token at bay. Another good round like that would be alright. Two hits, I'll spend the aim to get three. That's another three saves. This is what we know Captain Rex for. Look at that. One saved. Droid scrapped! Um, uh, uh, casualties are mounting! Confirmed! Okay, I now have two options. Two Droidica units, both poised to strike at Rex Special Weapon Squads. One here, at this unit, and one over here, at this unit. Now this unit is at full strength, which means they are more deadly, but I have to do more damage before I actually take out the Special Weapons that are the things causing me the most grief. So, I'm thinking that with this unit, I should just try and wipe them out because any wounds I cause are going to take away special weapons and give you one less activation. Yeah, cool. Solid plan. All right, well, I'll grab the roll box for you, Jacko. I'm, I'm guessing you unload with both droid attacks into the same unit? Yes, but before I do that, I'm going to aim. Of course. Now, I was able to issue an order to these droid thanks to my um, long-range comlink upgrade which is very handy for these kinds of uh, fast moving units. Anywhere on the board. All right, big, what is it, six dice? Two red and, ooh, two red and four black. You've got two surges there. They've only got defensive surge conversion, so do you want to re-roll those with aim? Yes. So getting those reds, geez, this is going to be bad for the squad, I think. Oh, uh, right. six saves. All right, well, I'm not in cover, so I'm looking for saves on all of them. Any misses are death. And I have missed with three and four Whole squad wiped out. Target acquired. Look out! Ugh. I'm hit! Medic! Your efficiency exceeds expected parameters. Holy wow, Droidicus can pack some punch. If I let the second unit do that, I'm gonna lose this special squad as well. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to turn all these guys around and they're gonna do a huge volley of fire into the droid because we've popped up behind them. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim and then I'm gonna combine fire with this unit as well. That's gonna give me the DP-23, which is two black and a white with pierce. I've got four uh, plus the fifth normal uh, DC-15As and then I'll also have the DC-15. So I'm looking at critical one, converting a single surge. I've also got my aim and an extra black dice to come. Let's see what pain I can dish out. Uh, so that surge will convert to a critical. Uh, that's, that's decent. That's really decent. I've still got my aim. Still got my aim. Looking for more. Looking for more. Juicy. Holy wow, droidikers. So that is, hey, they're not in cover, so criticals are relevant. So that gives us nine wounds. Uh, that is pretty savage. Ooh, nine hits. That's pretty rough. Um, I have four shield tokens, but I'm not sure that I want to use them all right now. I want to save a few for later. I get one back at the end of the turn. I have defensive surges. So, if I'm lucky on the dice, I will still have a Druidica at full strength. With three shield tokens. So, uh, that sort of gives away what I'm planning to do. That is going to be to spend two. So seven saves to make Jacko, set up the first six, looking for hits or surges. Ooh! Ooh that's not bad. Passing four and one more to take. Uh-oh! Well, oh, thank goodness. Okay, I've done three damage, one droidica goes down, and you've got a perfectly intact droidica on three shields. One shot, one kill. Your entire flank has activated on that side, so now I'm free to do as I wish over there which means I should be wary about what this unit's gonna do. And I'm pretty confident they're gonna blast these guys off the map to clear a path so they can get through if they wanna get through. Uh, so with that said, I'm gonna use my last remaining auto token from the pool, which is core, which corresponds to this unit. And they are going to, since they didn't have an auto token, they're gonna be forced to attack because of their AI rule. 
but that's fine because I want to attack. Target acquired. Eliminate that clone. Jacko's droids opened fire, scoring two hits, but it bounced harmlessly off the plastoid alloy armor of the Republic. Unique maintenance. Enraged by the onslaught from the droidic as the clone core units stood their ground, now wary of entering their firing arc. Opting for an aim action before opening fire themselves, the Z6 and the DC-15As inflicted five hits. Three blasts were deflected by the shields, and the tough carapace of the droidica absorbed another, meaning only a single wound was inflicted by the salvo. Directed. Good shot! The second Droidica squad, now down to a single unit, opened fire on the sole remaining clone commandos, driving them to ground and scoring three hits with the help of an aim action. But the Republic armor held strong again, only a single trooper lying motionless on the Geo Gene planes. Eliminate that clone! The newly appointed command unit of B1s continued to focus on the objective, targeting Captain Rex and managing another two hits. Still crossing the barren plains devoid of cover, Lockie was forced to make two I'm saves, failing. failing one with Rex taking a wound. Not sure I can make it! This is going to be a close one. The arrival of the Droidicas heralded the doom of one of the commando squads, and the B1s got a sneaky wound on the Republic commander. To achieve major victory, the clones must get Rex and a commando unit off the board, and the clock is ticking. The Seps only lost a single Droidica, and both units regenerated a single shield token. Turn six, I've really only got two squads left and Rex has only two wounds remaining. It's time to get out of dodge. I'm gonna be playing Call Me Captain. It's my one pip card. I basically just have to seize the initiative here. I know Jacko doesn't have a one pip. If I can set up coordinated fire, a little bonus for Rex, uh, that'll be just a cherry on top. But mainly, let's get Rex out of the lines of fire of all of these droid units. Jacko, what are you running? Push. Two pips. Two pips. Alright, so that's going to give you two units to command? Two units. Cool, I'm guessing those are going to be the droidicas. Let's jump into order placement. Spread out! Lock it down! Roger that. Resuming previous subroutine. So I've got to get Rex to safety, but I can do that by not actually moving him by eliminating some threats. We have a look here. Jacko's droidica. Uh, it has line of sight, but I'm in heavy cover, so I'll probably be fine from that attack. It's actually Jacko's command squad, surprisingly enough, which could do another cheeky wound. Luckily, I'm out of range of his droid unit over here. So what I'm going to do is activate one of these units by pulling off the top of the pool. I don't know which one it's going to be. It's a core unit. I probably would have preferred the support to get it away from the droidica, but that plan will still work. Uh, I'm going to do a move with this model right here and he is going to stop just there. He is going to open fire and then Rex is going to do coordinated fire straight into this droid unit. Battle droid, knock him down! On target! Target damage! Oh. Since Loki has prioritized Rex's safety, I can now take advantage of the fact that his uh, special weapon squad here hasn't activated yet, and they already have one suppression token, thanks to my volley of fire last turn. So again, if I score a hit, he's gonna take two suppression tokens, thanks to the suppressive ability of my Droidica Twin Blaster Cannons. So, let's just keep firing. Pew, 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 pew! Uh, we'll start off with an aim. Okay, so that's two hits. That's three hits. Ooh, three big hits. I've got three defense to high right here. Preparing for the worst. Ooh, I've taken another casualty, and that means kaboom. Two more suppression tokens. Take cover! We're taking heavy fire! Highly accurate shooting. Machines are superior. So because of my command card, call me Captain, even though Rex has already used fire support, he doesn't flip his order token so I can activate him now. So what I'm going to do, because he's in range three of these pesky uh, droids here, I know it's only four white dice, but I've only got two wounds left. I'm going to get out of dodge. Time is pressing. I don't have time to run over there and shoot them, especially with only range two. So Rex is going to double move, also getting out of line of sight of that pesky droidica on Jacko's flank uh, for next turn and start getting towards the board edge. All right, Lucky, are you ready to be chased? Chased? Chased by who? My droidicas. They're going into wheel mode, Oh, uh, the rolling boys, really? I honestly thought you were going to rip apart that clone squad, okay. No. 
Setting up for next turn, getting uh, the old Droidica leader flying on. Now, this is going to put me... Should just put me just within range three of you. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Wow, so uh, yeah, that's going to be huge next turn. Potentially ripping into the back of Rex as he runs away. He's only got three wounds remaining. A good play by the Droidicus, who are of course now in ball mode. So they won't be able to use their shields, but they'll be getting cover too. Advance the attack! Pinned down by three suppression tokens inflicted by the twin blaster cannons of the Droidica, the clone commandos rallied, shedding the one token they needed to act as normal. Mobilizing to face the new threat bearing down on their commander, they executed a move order and unloaded at the full strength Droidica unit. With the DP-23 out of range, they only managed to inflict three hits, two of which were cancelled by the heavy cover of the Droidica wheel mode, and Jacko saved the third. Just like the simulation. Order engaged. Following. The other squad of B1s opened fire on the last clone troopers with the Z6, inflicting a single hit, which was again deflected by the Republic armor. The Kaminoans would be proud. Disengaging from the shootout, the B1s pulled back alongside the Droidicas to shape up for an assault next turn. Roger that. So Jackson set up an awesome position for his Droidicas to unload on Captain Rex at the start of next turn. I've got one activation left and it's my last core unit. They're gonna have to try and do something about it. So I'm gonna send them flying up. They're gonna do a move and then unload into the back of the Droidica ranks. I've got five DC-15 A's. I've got a Z6, so that's five black and six white, and they're on one wound with heavy cover. I need at least four hits here to knock out one of those Droidicas. Z6 clones finally managed to bring their weapons to bear and score four hits against that Droidica squad. Two of them neutralized by the heavy cover, and then Jacko failed both saves to see that Droidica squad reduced to a single model. Thanks to my ingenious tactical planning at the start of the game, I still have a command card with pips lower than four, but Lockie only has standing orders left. So I'm going to play my coordinated fire card. Very nice. Pip 3 seizing the initiative, which is going to set up a beautiful unload for those Droidicas straight on Rex, as we predicted. Advance the attack! Roger, Roger. Stop the humanoids! Like we drilled, go! I'm gonna aim and fire at Rex with my Droidica. Two hits. And you've got your aim? Every roll one. Two hits, Ooh, two three big hits. Needing to pass uh, pretty much two of these. Oh, oh, Rexy boy! Captain of the 501st. Re-adjust your targeting reticle. I'm not expecting Rex's armor to hold up like that every single time. It's time to get him out of here. He's just going to make a double move straight towards the back of the board, setting up his escape in the following turn. With Rex close to the finish line, Jacko is intent on stopping a major victory for the Republic, so sets his small unit of B1s on the commandos. The injured squad can only manage a single hit, but for once it finds its mark and a commando slumps to the ground. Standing orders, of course, only gives me one order, so I'm at the mercy of the pool, and it is my support unit. So, oh, do I stand and shoot? I just don't think I have the time. These guys are going to be doing a double move. All right, Lucky, are you ready to be chased again? Uh, this time I think I'm prepared for it. Here comes the Rolly Boys. Yep, so this time we're gonna roll one down. Right up behind ya. Ooh, setting up for a, a last Hail Mary in the final play. Stop the humanoids! So my turn's finishing once again with this core squad up the back. I've got to finish off these Droidicas before they rip into my support squad before they can get off the board. The same attacks as last turn, and even worse. <laughs> a single two hits, Jacko will cancel one with his shields, and then that's just a single white die for you, Jacko. Go long. 
Ooh, it's a wound, but the droidikas are holding strong. This game is going right down to the wire. Rex is on the brink of the objective with his clone commandos close behind, but the two droidica units and the surviving B1s are bearing down on them. The forces of the Republic are going to have to endure at least one last volley of blaster fire before they can escape. So by this turn, we are both on standing orders. So it's going to come down to a roll-off. If the shield symbols come up, it's for the Republic. A blank or a surge, and it's going to go to the Separatists. Let's have a look, Jacko. Ooh, initiative goes to the Republic. I'm getting someone off before you open fire. Assault positions! Fight my shiny metal hum. Boom! So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it looks like when you have basically zero board control. Obviously, I can activate Rex and run him off the board, and that's going to be my activation this turn. But let's think a little further ahead. Jacko will then open fire with his Droidicus and target some of these units, and then it's all about what's on the top of my pool. If Jacko kills my trooper unit and I draw my other trooper unit, I won't be able to move my support off before his Droidicus can return fire on them. So it's going to be a whole lot of chance as to whether or not this second unit gets off the board, but for now, Rexy Boy has made it to relative safety deep behind Geonosian lines. You have been designated for termination. Destroyer droid, watch yourself! So I want to try and mix up Lockie's command pool by taking out one of his troop units and hopefully forcing him to activate over there rather than over here. One target, three shots. I'm aiming first, so I get to reroll. Ooh, oh, ooh, two hits. Two hits, that's juicy. You should fail one. I've got two shots here. Do I keep him alive? Ooh, he goes down. Pluck him out of there, Jacko. And I am down one core unit. Hopefully the order pool won't abandon me. So at the mercy of the order pool, let's find out. Am I running my dudes off the edge of the board? No, it is my core unit, so I do have to activate them before, which means the droidikas will get to shoot at my support over there before they can run off the board. But, of course, these guys get to activate. So I'm going to aim, and I'm going to shoot, and I'm going to try and kill those droidikas and blow them off the board before they can annihilate my squad. So, just like the last two turns, five black dice, six white dice, let's see if these guys can finally pull the trigger. We are looking at the aim, only one hit. Oh. And the aim yields another hit. So Jacko can flip his shield and block one of those automatically. And then he's got one to cancel, which he fails. So the Jordica takes another wound, but that's not enough to take him off the board. I'm hit. Just like the simulation. Okay, now the second part of my gamble is the Jordica on the top of my order pile. Yes. Oh no, are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I guess when you're, uh, you're gonna unload straight into those guys, right? Uh, yes, I am. Drop some shots. So from over here, we are going to fire. Two hits. You got your aim? First, of course. Three, three hits. hits, oh my lord. Okay, so it is possible for you to wipe out this squad on three red blanks. Can I have three defense die, please, Jacko? Just in front of you. Yeah. All right, one shield, and my guys are safe. Oh, all three shields! Nice. <laughs> Just to rub salt in the wound. The Republic deflects laser bolts with their plasticky, cloney armor, and they are safe to make their escape. So the only unit left on my order pool is, of course, my support, and they are just going to double move out of dodge and go and join their Captain Rex deep behind enemy lines, achieving victory for the Republic. Through the valor of the men of the 501st and their indomitable leader, Captain Rex, the Republic have achieved a small victory, but at a heavy price. Many of their fallen brothers litter the dusty plains and rocky escarpments of Geonosis as the carrion of war. But their sacrifice will not be in vain. Rex and the remnant of his strike force have broken the Separatist lines and can now strike deep into enemy territory. No one misses with the 501st. For the Republic! Will they cut off Count Dooku before he can escape? Can they buy the Jedi enough time to come to their aid? Or will the mighty Sith Lord make them pay for their boldness as he cuts his way to freedom? To find out, tune in next time for Episode 2 of The Battle for Geonosis. So victory for the Republic in the first scenario of our Geonosis narrative campaign. But it was pretty close, wasn't it, Jacko? It was pretty close. If you had failed a few more saves, 
Uh, I think I would have been doing a little bit better. Yeah, the clone armor held up there. Rex just bumping off that droidic around of shooting, and then the support unit as well, just chink, 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 yep. not taking a single casualty. How do you feel the droidicas went late game? Uh, pretty good. When they came on, they did, did a bit of damage. Um, of course, your armor held up, so I think it was more your successful role. I pretty much scored like 100% hits every time. The yeah, with the aim. Yeah. yeah, aim was huge. The yeah. shields held up pretty well. Yeah, more Help. durable, right? I, I you hear this about droiding as often is that like if you can focus fire on them, they actually go down pretty easily. But you like did some really cool management of choosing how many shields to spend and chancing dice and weighing that in your favor. So I think you played it pretty well. Yeah, it's a bit of tactics, a bit of fortune. Yeah, <laughs> true. Fair, fair, fair. But overall, I think uh, I think it was pretty close the whole time. I mean, I have like barely any units left. My you know, a three-man squad and Rex got off the board and then there was five or six normal troopers left and that was it. So you've wiped out almost four complete squads. Uh, so, you know, the, the clones uh, the clones weathered the storm, but we annihilated some droids, didn't we? You annihilated a lot of droids. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, yeah. That's what they're there for, to be annihilated. Indeed. They, you didn't have like a huge, chunky leader, obviously, I had Captain Rex, and that's the whole theme of this scenario, is Rex leading a strike force against a huge horde of Separatists. Uh, but we're absolutely going to see some leader action in Episode 2. Of course, this whole mission is all about breaking the enemy lines. We've received the orders from um, uh, Obi-Wan, and we're going to try and cut off Count Dooku. We've only got a squad and Rex and then whoever else joins us in the second campaign. So we'll see how well we do against the esteemed leader of the Separatist forces here on Geonosis. Uh, enjoy the campaign, Jacko? Yes, yes, I am enjoying it. Yes. I've, I'm looking forward to winning. Yeah, uh, fair. Again. Well, aren't we all? Yeah. I, I, I'm excited to see what you do with the Count. Yes. He's going to be... Uh... He's cool. I've played with him once so far. <laughs> Excellent. He's got some tricks. He does, he does have some tricks. Yes. Very different to some of like Obviously we've been playing with Grievous a lot more. Yes. So uh, yeah, a different subtlety. So it'll be cool to see him clash up and then Obi-Wan is going to be making an appearance as well and we can have some Saber on Saber action. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first installment of our Geonosis campaign. We have three of these planned in this linked campaign and then who knows what the future will hold. If you guys are enjoying it and you like the format, obviously this is a big time investment doing a kind of high production quality uh, sort of narrative battle report campaign like this. So please let us know down in the comments, share the video with your friends. And if you want to support what you're doing, uh, what we're doing here, feel free to check out our Patreon. But yeah, I love making this kind of content. This is like, mm, this is the kind of battle reports I want to make. So hopefully you guys enjoy them. Otherwise we just spent nearly four days filming this, let alone how long I'm going to spend in the edit. So thank you for joining us, Jacko. Thank you. Well done on letting your horde of droids die. Yes. It's very enjoyable for me. Yes. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. And we'll see you guys in episode two of the Geonosis narrative campaign. Thanks for watching. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're still watching at this point, thank you so much. This was a huge video for me. It took Jacko and I four days to shoot, and I've now been editing for 106 hours and 37 minutes, over about two weeks. I have a little counter down there whenever I'm working. Uh, I love videos of this style. These high production quality battle reports get me really excited as a creator, and it's something that I'd love to make a lot of. Uh, I'd rather do that than sort of spam low quality videos to get views, but obviously this is my full-time job, and these videos are insanely time intensive so I can't keep making them unless they do well so please actually like and comment definitely click that little thumb and type any of your thoughts down below that really helps the YouTube algorithm and uh, please subscribe as well if you're new around here uh, we, we'd love to get this video seen because it was a lot of work I love this style the kind of high production quality stuff and I've got so many dreams of what I can do with this format moving forward with Star Wars Legion with 40k with Middle Earth as well uh, so yeah it's just it gets me really excited Excited. And I've wanted to do this kind of video for ages where I, I produce something that it actually sort of meets my standards. Obviously, most of you would know I have a background in film, so I kind of have a high sort of standard for my editing and, and to be able to sink some time into it and, and give that a crack. It's not perfect, but it's it's approaching more the kind of style of what I would like to make. Uh, I don't like to spam the Patreon thing, but if you do want to support more edits of this style, then supporting me on Patreon is an amazing way to do that. All the links are down in the description. A huge shout out to all my current Patreons who made this video possible. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, boy, am I excited for Geonosis Part 2. I cannot wait to get into shooting and editing that. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll see you real soon right here on Zorbasorb. Cheers, guys, and thank you.
Start of turn five. Um, what do I need to do? <laughs> <laughs> Blooper material. Self an aim token, which I've completely misplaced. There it is. Funny. <laughs> um, you yeah, know, I know what I'm saying. Go. Um, so, what, board what present. am I talking about? You if I let the second unit that the holy wow droid is going to f I'm a little bit worried because why am I worried? <laughs> means I need to take advantage of the initiative. No, that's wrong. <laughs> you know, it's like feels like it's super scripted. No, okay, well, it's not scripted. Let's let's say something different. No, I, got it, I got it. Okay, you go. Alright. It's turn three, and Lockie's troops are in position to put. <laughs> a quick thank you to the guys at Briz Vegas Comics who lent me some of their Geonosis scanner terrain for filming. If you're in Brizzy, they've got a great Legion community and excellent prices. Also, a huge shout out to the clones and clankers from the Star Wars Discord homebrew community who saved me hours of photoshopping for all the custom campaign materials with their templates. And remember, all the links to the full campaign materials and various resources are in the description so you can play through the entire campaign along with us at home. If you'd like to see how I built the full Geonosis board, you can check that video out here, or to see a full painting tutorial for any of the minis used in this game, check out this playlist here. Thanks again guys, holy Yoda, this has been a long outro.